Hello everyone, welcome back to Silver Tears Tarot and welcome to today's reading. So we're getting in to see kind of what's happening as we're getting through the middle of the week. We're at Wednesday, also known as Hump Day, and it is kind of getting through that uh, middle portion of the week and definitely feeling some shifting happening. So some of you are already starting to receive the communications from this person that feel like unhealed communications. Let's go ahead and dig into some of that. So it's going to be a general reading for this collective. Um, won't resonate with everyone, shouldn't resonate with everyone, but if it does resonate with you, think about maybe subscribing or um, maybe just hit like and get caught up on some of these uh, videos because all of them are very much connected so you can get good messages out of things that may have come out last week or so. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and read for you with the Ferenc Pinter Tarot. Um, we'll start with that, and then I'll clarify with the Baroque Tarot. I think those two work really nicely together. Um, and then we've got the Sacred Destiny, Sacred Destiny Oracle for when we get to that, whether we do an oracle at the end here, um, or if we do a an extended reading, I'll do the oracle at the end of that. So getting started with just sort of the energy of the day, the energy that is coming in right now, immediately we have Nine of Cups, but in the reverse, that sense of being incredibly aware of that which does not bring happiness. So this is a matter of regret. It's almost like a Five of Cups kind of feeling. It's almost a how did I get myself into this situation kind of how did it come to this kind of feeling? Then we have six of coins, realization. Ooh, this is a realization of not um, not being treated very well. So your person is feeling as if they are not being treated very well, and it's bringing to them some realizations of times when maybe they did not treat you especially well. So sounds like they're not being treated well in some kind of similar type situation. So it is a... Um, turning of the tables, you know. We have the Ace of Pentacles also, their inability to walk through a new door. Um, this is a new door within themselves. This is not specific to the door that you leave open, but it is the reason that they have a hard time walking through your door. So now we saw in the extended that they're going to give that a shot. Um, and I think that that's part of the reason that I wanted to jump in with that flavor. Um, this is almost going to be like an extended to that extended. So we saw in the extended that they were kind of wanting to head your way, but of course with them not being healed yet and not really being able to process those, those emotions just yet, um, it doesn't work out quite the way that they would hope and they end up having to retract again. Um, the healing isn't done. So we also see a, a tendency toward like... Um, like a breakdown or some sort of emotional failure that occurs here. Um, carrying it, carrying it until you can't anymore, and then you have the failure. So there's some sort of emotional failure um, occurring in today's energy, or it doesn't necessarily mean they're over there having some kind of breakdown. But the energy, it's possible, um, but the energy for it is, um, it's a very strong sort of desire to get out from under something that's incredibly painful. Strong desire to get out from something very painful. Um, okay, let's see here. Six of Pentacles, so we see this one again. The Six of Pentacles coming in here in the reverse, that's the equivalent of that Six of Coins. It is Earth energy and it is them realizing, wow, I am really not being treated the way that I'm supposed to be being treated and this is not cool. They're recognizing it on a level that Maybe they haven't quite recognized it before because they haven't quite experienced it with this level of perspective. Um, with the Two of Cups here, we see them, all right, so if they have not reached out to you, there is a chance that they're finally realizing they probably aren't ready yet. So with the Empress and the Two of Cups here in the reverse, um, here's the thing. I think they, they realize that they need to um, get some additional healing done before they reach out to you, but I'm not convinced they're actually doing it. 
I'm not convinced that, um, so they kind of had a tendency to cover that up for themselves and get to a place where they say, no, I'm sure I could be fine. I and remember a few days ago, they were saying, I could just heal while I'm in that place. I'll go ahead and continue with my internal reconciliation, but I'm going to go over there where I feel safe and allow it to happen. So um, on some level, they are recognizing that that's not actually something that can happen. That's not actually something where they can feel safe um, or that they... They, they recognize the timing isn't right. Okay, so with this Page of Cups, the Page of Cups in the reverse, this is the edge of, okay, so when we were looking at the bridge question in yesterday's extended reading, we were looking at um, what was going to be required for them to get out of this difficult place, to find a place where they would feel safe, to find a place of a little bit more balance. Um, we found some concepts that, like, they know they have some things they really need to let go of. Um, and it's clear that they need to kind of get beyond telling themselves they're going to do something. This is that. This is them realizing, I say I'm going to do this, but I need to really do it. This is, they needed to um, get beyond telling themselves they were going to do something and actually see their way to doing it. So this is them realizing, I say I'm going to do it, but I'm not really doing it. And it exposes this, um, this thing that's come up here recently. So they have, there's been a lot of shackles falling off of them, kind of new things popping up where they realize, okay, I'm no longer being controlled by this other thing over here, which should grant me some modicum of freedom. Um, but unfortunately, then there are still some other things that are holding them back. So they're learning now about something that's kind of holding them back, and it may even be developing into something that they're getting a little bit more out of control of. So it could be drinking is starting to increase. Either way, they're having a new perspective with this, and they're recognizing, hey, I always say, and I'm just going to use an example, I always say I'm going to stop drinking, but I notice that it's increasing or it's ramping up. Or I often say I want to get in control of things, but I've got these, these thoughts that are out of control and I can't seem to get it to stop. So the new perspective has to do with a better, per, a better view of themselves more than anything else. Um, and this is something that has been growing in them. So if you feel like, hey, have we had a new perspective of this nature before? Why, yes, we have. We have absolutely seen this um, ability for them to, to, to see, the ability to do this um, growing within themselves. The star in the reverse, though, talks a little bit about the... Um, it's the delay that they're going through. So we know that when we saw this happening over the weekend, we know that kind of what's happening with them has a little bit of a setback feel to it. It's got a little bit of a setback, a little bit of a things are not quite healed, a little bit of an I need to work through my values. That piece um, isn't necessarily new information. We've been seeing this one all along, a need to work through those values, a need to um, reorient themselves. So there are some values that they maybe grew up with that they're finding no longer resonate with them. And they need to get they need to get right with themselves and figure out where they are. Now, in so doing, there's an amount of healing that needs to be done. Um, and it's not always a smooth path. So again, we're seeing them kind of not always advancing forward quickly on this path. Sometimes it's a matter of you see some setbacks, you see some um, a step forward, a step back, and it feels like it's stagnation because they're not really moving, um, they're not getting out of a, a place that they need to go. So with this Two of Wands, it's a recognition. Once again, a lot of recognition in this energy. Hey, I realize I should be doing this and not just saying it. I realize that something has a hold on me. I realize that there's a need for me to get on top of, not necessarily the healing. I don't get a lot of awareness around that, but definitely a sense of getting on top of this inconsistent values issue that seems to be happening inside them. So that is that is something that um, we'll take this as context for what we see in the rest of the reading. So understanding where we are with the day is helpful because that puts everything else into uh, perspective for us a little bit. And so your person does have a new perspective that they're kind of working through. Not the first time they've had a new perspective, but definitely something that is um, causing them to think about things in a way that is very different from what they've experienced in the past. 
So let's go ahead and jump into the reading of the day. And so we're looking here to understand what else you need to know as we're getting into the middle of this week, as we're getting into today's energy, as we're seeing the evolution of the energy that we find over there in that first pile. So we've got a Knight of Swords, a feeling of uh, Carpe Diem. So you won't be able to see it very clearly, but Faring Pinter has written Carpe Diem, and it is what's printed on the outside of these cards. Carpe Diem and then his signature. So um, it is about seizing the day, and this is an incredibly strong sense of that concept of seizing the day, that knight of swords, that feeling of, you know what, I'm going to make something good happen with today. This is going to be a day where positivity occurs. You know, it's a very positive attitude um, and an acknowledgement of the balance that they find that they're not especially in. So if you saw yesterday's um, extended, I talked a little bit about how the temperance card in the upright showed up with regard to them showing up to connect with you. And it it was about this perception, um, a perception of balance that comes. So it's not actually that they suddenly are more balanced in your presence, but it was this feeling from their side that they, they, they feel more balanced as a result of your presence. And so there was something there about that. So here's an acknowledgement that that, um, that balance isn't really there. That's not really something that they've accomplished. This is something, oh, we got two of them. This is something that, um, that they're going to need to go back and find another more realistic path to. So we've got the tower, uh, significant tumultuous emotional upheaval going on here. So that's what's in this energy right now. This tower is not, it's in the process of falling, but it's something that they've been trying to kind of put off for some time. So this is an emotion that they've been looking to not feel. It's something they've been trying to not make happen or not allow to happen. But with this Queen of Swords here, it feels like they're not making it happen. They are observing it to happen. So the Queen of Swords in the upright is a very cut things out. It's a very make a rash decision or a quick decision, or sometimes it's just a quick decision. And it's not going to qualify as rash because it's maybe... Um, they they did not need to get too far too much farther into it. It may be well thought out, but just a decision not yet taken. Um, this is about not making a quick decision, about not doing something quick. And this tower coming down tells me that since they've been trying to avoid it, they're they're finding it inevitable. Um, I really appreciate this this approach, this energetic approach that they're taking to it, especially given the fact that their eyes are open on many other levels. But for them to um, to feel this awareness and reach out to you at the same time could be pretty intense. Um, okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles here, the potential to open a new door. So this is not definitely opening a new door. This is potential to open a new door and actually to make a pretty good progress on this Two of Wands um, renewal of, or I guess, resurrection and evolution of their values. So this Ten of Swords has to do with solving a very old problem. Um, the Ten of Swords is that ancient pain that we sometimes talk about. It's something that will have happened in youth, or it's pain that came through... Um, from previous generations that could come in in the form of those values that have been taught to them to hopefully protect them, um, then they realize they come in and they say, okay, so I can appreciate that those values are here to protect me, but that's not really what I need to do. That's not the approach that I need to take. I'm going to take a different approach to this. I'm going to have a different attitude about this. And this Ace of Pentacles talks about the opening of this new approach. It is a door that opens incredibly slowly. It is not the same door um, that we've been talking about with regard to you where they're afraid to walk through your door. This is more the door inside of them that has to um, that has to be opened before they're able to walk through any others. But it is also something that happens very slowly and it involves the ending of um, the resolution of something that happened to them a long time ago. So we also have the Page of Wands here and I get the sense that they run into this pretty much headlong. Um, they definitely are feeling a change in this perception, but this tower is an emotional 
experience. Okay, so the Page of Wands has them feeling, um, I guess it's it's almost like a depressive sort of feeling. That Page of Wands has them feeling a little bit of depressed over whatever's happening in this tower situation um, at first. Oop, I just dropped some cards. Let's see here. Hmm. Okay, so we've got the Five of Cups. There's a sense of crying over spilled milk. This is a feeling of time gone by that they wish they had done something better with and thinking about those times gone by, recognizing that they've gotten in their own way about something. So there's a sense of nostalgia here, but it it goes right into this sense of regret. So we have the Five of Cups and the Six of Cups, and that Five of Cups is so heavy on the regret. The Six of Cups is looking back and saying, oh, you know, it's between the two of them, they come down to basically a missed opportunity. Um, and it's something that we know they've been lamenting the missed opportunity concept here lately. Um, and honestly, that's not a new thing. They recognize when they miss an opportunity, but sometimes they recognize it way after the fact. Um, but given the rest of the emotion that's happening here with the tower coming down, with realizing they didn't actually have that um, that sense of balance that maybe they, they're in their fantasies and their dreams of you, they do feel that sense of balance and that sense of wholeness. Um, but then when they get back out on their own, they recognize they still have to build that. This is part of the process of building that. So over the weekend, we knew they were moving towards some pretty impressive improvements. Um, at this time, though, we can say they still have not quite gotten there, but they're in the business end of figuring some things out, or at least feeling like things are really shifting for them. And it is creating a lot of defensiveness in them. Now, um, it's creating a lot of defensiveness, but it's also creating an ability for them to start thinking things through, which they haven't necessarily been utilizing their ability to think things through here with the King of Swords. We have the Nine of Wands that talks about the defensiveness, and then we have the King of Swords that talks about building strategy or thinking things through. So with the King of Swords, it's not, um, this is not necessarily a particularly balanced King of Swords. So there is definitely that sense of, um, thinking things through, but not necessarily coming up with the most logical of answers or utilizing the logic, but failing to allow the emotion to take a role in it, partially because of that defensiveness. Um, I feel like the defensiveness is probably the thing that shuts off the emotion in this more than anything. I think we just had one turn over there. Yeah, we got the Four of Wands. Okay, so the Four of Wands, though, is unfortunately for them coming in in the reverse. The Four of Wands in the reverse is... Um, it's a feeling of lacking stability or wishing to have a little bit more stability. It's a feeling of lack. It really is a feeling of lack, and it's, it centers around stability, but stability is not the whole picture in this. Um, okay, and they're moving back toward the overthinking. So this is a difficult time for them. Definitely seeing a sense of things being a challenge. And I feel like um, we're not going to go into an extended in this one because this is making me feel like they need a little bit of privacy or a little bit of time to kind of think through what's happening here. Um, so rather than go into, um, what I'd like to go into is kind of, well, what is happening with them? What is this tower about? I think it needs, it's happening so in the now that it needs a little bit of time to unfold and give, uh, get a little bit of perspective. So um, I don't know that I've ever quite gone that direction before, but we're going to hold off on the extended for that reason. Um, so let's go ahead and move into the you portion of the reading, and let's look at what you need to be focused on, given the rest of what we have here on this table, but also given what it is that you are, um, what, you're, what you've been working on in your own meditations and in your own prayers, those things that have been coming out for you dropped a card and it's face down and remember just yesterday we had gotten um the 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 recommendation to hop back into those meditations because the messages are ready to come back out for you again so if you haven't been in there lately go ahead and jump into those meditations avail yourself of the messages that want to come out you've got a lot of positivity that's wanting to come your direction all right, so in the you portion of the reading, we have the hermit in reverse. This is a need to go back into your hermit cave. So we were kind of just talking about this. <laughs> and then right then the high priestess comes out. So you've got the need to go back into the hermit cave um, with the hermit in reverse. 
we've got because this is wisdom that you haven't yet gained with the high priestess you've got information that's coming out and it's um it's very it's an intuitive time it's a highly intuitive time for you so this is time for you to go back in and get some of that wisdom because it's ready to come out for you you might feel a little bit like it's bursting at the seams for you a little bit and then you've got the ten of cups yeah that sense of things being a little too good to be true may be hard to um hard to believe that things are coming in the way that they look like they're coming in so what i would say to you here is give yourself that opportunity because things may actually be coming in exactly the way that you think you may not feel ready for them you may not feel like the timing is right but i get this sense that um you're going to do just fine with it so this is there's a matter of winging it um, a little bit of a feeling of winging it for something that you're going to feel like maybe that's not something you should be winging. Um, you're probably not wrong about that, but if you don't have, um, the timing is, is going to be much more right than it feels like it is. That's a confusing sort of sensation or a confusing sort of feeling there because it feels a little bit like, what do I do? I mean, there's that, there's that sense of imbalance and let's see what fell. Card fall, but it's face down. All right, so there's a sense of imbalance here, and you're you're being given the recommendation to just kind of roll with it. So you've gotten this before. You often get the recommendation to roll with what's coming to you, and it's generally pretty good advice. But with this King of Pentacles, you're going to be very successful with it. Um, there's something coming in that feels like maybe this isn't the right time. This is not a good time for you to overthink it. Go ahead and sit. Listen for the wisdom. Listen for the intuition to come in. Um, understand why it's going to feel like the timing isn't quite right, but this is really maybe something that is far better than what you might have anticipated. You are prepared for it, and deep down you're going to recognize that you can, you're, the, you're in an environment where you can make this happen. Even though there is going to be some juggling involved and it's going to mean sacrifice for something that doesn't fit into your daily world or into your daily situation quite the way that you would usually expect for it to. Um, so you've got the lovers in the reverse here. Lovers in the reverse says something's basically going to get in the way for you. I don't think that is romantically related, to be perfectly honest. I think this is something in your daily life that you're you're trying to muddle through something. And honestly, what this feels like to me is you're getting a job and you don't think it's the right job. You don't think it's the right time. You don't think you're ready for it yet. You got a little bit of a sense of that imposter syndrome and it is the right time and you just got to kind of let it roll. That's, a, that's just an example, but that's the kind of energy that we've got going on here so really really the best thing you can do is step out of your own way and allow this to flow that's the advice that comes through here and the energy may feel like it's coming kind of fast so heads up for that I get that you may not feel super confident about it um, happening as quickly as it feels like it's going to be happening but also keep in mind that it's not happening within a vacuum there is going to be more to it there are some things that you don't quite know so with the Nine of Pentacles, um, you are being perceived as really having a lot of um, a lot of things together. Your ducks are in a row. You understand what you need to understand. You're doing a great job with what you need to be doing. And you seem to have a nice command of the options that are available to you. So that's here. That's only part of the story because from your perspective, you're feeling like there's a lot left for you to learn. There's a lot more um, for you to, this is an honorable mention, but this is the big three. This is where you're feeling like there's a lot left for you to learn around your sense of abandonment or your fears of abandonment, betrayal, re rejection. Rejection and abandonment are the big ones here. Um, and again, I feel like this is, has that energy of you're getting a new job and you don't think you're ready for it, but you totally are. With the hermit here in the reverse, go in there. Go and get those meditations or those uh, messages that are available to you in those meditations. And that is actually going to help to open things up for you so that these options do look a little bit more understandable to you. Because at first they look a little confusing, which is why maybe you're feeling like you're, dis you're not quite ready for... Um, um, the next step or this thing that's coming your direction. So you've got some you've got some um, abundance coming your way and may just not be quite sure how to utilize that just yet. So let's go ahead and grab an oracle card for you. 
Um, this oracle card, like I said, comes from the Sacred Destiny deck. And basically, the oracle cards, if you don't see them, you don't see them very often because I usually do them at the end of an extended. So if you get the extendeds, you will see them at the end of all of them. Um, but if you don't get the extendeds, then you probably don't see them very often because I will do them here if I don't do an extended. And I wanted to give this a chance to kind of grow. It feels like it needs privacy, and I wanted to respect that. So um, we're looking for advice for you. You, a little bit more information for you to go across the top for this reading and we got two of them so we have love and focus these are the areas for you right now so regardless of what's going on with your person this tower that's falling the fact that they may be reaching out to you which remember we saw that there was a the great potential for them to come your direction and if they do you are being recommended to address them in a gentle way but recognize they're probably not going to be able to stick around. They're, they're coming to feel safe with you, but they're not able to process the emotions because they haven't done the work. Um, they are at least coming face to face with the decisions that they need to make. And this situation may give them a little bit of the impetus that they need to make it. Um, but likely not before they end up in a place needing to retract and run away again. So your focus and your focus on love and your focus on love within yourself, within your own life, just kind of accommodating them in gently when they come in and then when they need to leave again, you refocus on your own situation, always being driven by love. So it does not involve allowing yourself to be treated poorly, okay? So that's one of the things that really wants to come out with this. Part of your focus needs to be on the fact that um, you, you know now a little bit more about your levels of self-worth and what you can tolerate, how you want to be treated. And so you've got to go ahead and live that. Honor yourself, honor those those lines now and enable yourself to receive what you should be receiving and really nothing less. So that's part of what comes in with this message as well. Um, so again, we're not going to extend this one. Thank you so much for being with me today as we kind of work through this. I think we'll jump in again um, in the next reading and see where they're doing with this tower. Just kind of see how things are happening because it looks like they've got a little bit of struggle in front of them. We're going to let them work through a little bit of that and then see if maybe they can slowly move toward this door. That opens just as slowly. So um, I like their attitude coming into it, but they're about to hit an interesting wall. And I'd be curious to understand, do they scale it? Do they run around it? Do they just slam into it? What happens with that? So um, we'll see that when we look into the next reading. And um, thanks again for being here with me. I'll see you next time.